Here with head coach Marty Lovrich after the Warhawks rally to defeat Lindsey Wilson 7-4 to in uh, game two of their doubleheader. Coach, uh, after game one, you have to be pleased with the split after uh, after rallying in game two. Yeah, that's uh, one thing about uh, baseball. You know, uh, here we are today, and I think for, you know, 16 innings or so, we're just uh, not playing good ball, doing a lot of uh, dumb things. And all of a sudden, right here at the end, we win one inning and, and end up winning the game, which was huge. Uh, again, um, would like to take my hat off to uh, Jonathan Burton over there. Uh, he's got a totally new team this year. Uh, I told our guys in the locker room that you would have thought we were the team from about uh, eight hours north because they look much more uh, prepared than we do, or we did, and I'll take the blame for that. Uh, I told the guys this week, I thought uh, coming off a really good uh, weekend last weekend against a, a fine club in Tennessee Wesleyan, I think we took the week for granted, didn't prepare right. And uh, obviously, you know, uh, four picks, I think threw four picks away today, um, walked 10 or 11 guys, and, and, you know, that falls on my shoulders, and that's something we're going to, we're definitely going to iron out. Well, Coach, just talk a little bit about, you know, the, the disappointment of, of the first 16 innings today, and then you guys rally for six runs in the, the bottom of the six. Just talk a little bit about, you know, that being a positive for the team. You know, yeah, it shows you know, their character. We're, we're telling them all the time, you know, baseball's a crazy game. you got to play it until the last pitch and until the last out's made. And, um, you know, we hung in there. I thought the second game, even though we didn't have a lot to show for it, um, we had some really good battles, some 9-13 some type uh, pitch at bats, a lot of foul balls. Uh, getting the uh, uh, their starting pitchers pitch count up. Um, that's the type of team we are, and when they all buy into it, I think we're going to be uh, better off because of it. But, uh, you know, I told the guys today, you know, even if we'd have lost that game, you know, we're going to have to work hard every day. Like I said, we didn't prepare good this week. Um, and like I said, that's on my shoulders. We're going we're gonna to change that this week. Um, I, I told them in there, at the end of the year, you can only carry 25 guys to the tournament, and I'm looking for the best 25 that, that are well-rounded and can play the game. Let's talk about one of your uh, one of your stars tonight, Cole, Cole Goodwin comes in, um, where, you know, after we gained the, the lead and, and uh, you know, we faced a little adversity there, walk the leadoff guy, throw uh, two balls to the next batter, you bring him in, he strikes out the side. Just talk about his effort. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm fortunate because uh, he was with me last year and uh, bringing him over here, I knew what, what I was going to get out of him. Great thing with him is he's got confidence in all his stuff and uh, if he gets beat, it's going to be with the other team hitting the ball. He's not going to walk guys, uh, he's going to field his position, he's going to hold runners and, uh, you know, uh, probably an 82, 83 mile an hour fastball, but he pitches off all his stuff. And I wish some of the guys in the dugout would say, you know, I can be that guy. <laughs> well, Coach, congratulations on the split after uh, a disappointing game one effort. We'll try to uh, win the series tomorrow at 12 against these same Blue Raiders.